This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes came up to Jesus and asked him, which commandment is the first of all? Jesus answered, the first is this, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And the second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The question is asked of Jesus, which is the first of all the commandments? You know, the word commandment, that word is not used very often in today's vocabulary. Usually the only time we hear it is within the context of the sacred scriptures. I believe a good definition of this word is to say that a commandment is a supreme directive. And in the context of the scriptures, we would say a commandment is a supreme and divine directive. It is the voice of God directing us along the pathways of this life. So the question that is asked of Jesus, which is the first of all the commandments, that question could be understood as, as this. As children of God in this life, what is the most important thing that God has divinely directed us to do? Jesus answers that question. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And the second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The most important thing that we are divinely directed to do in this life then is to love God with everything that is in us and to love one another as we love ourselves. That is the supreme, divine, and first directive to love. And this is so because we are made in the image and the likeness of God. And God is love. We are then made, created, by love itself, in the divine image of love, for the purpose of loving. That is who we are, and that is what we are directed to do. And Jesus, Jesus answers the question in a very, very complete way. He says, we are to love God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all of our strength. In other words, we are to love God with everything that is in us. And Jesus will not separate love of God 
and love of neighbor. It flows so naturally from the voice of Christ. He was asked, which is the first commandment? And his answer flows right into the second commandment. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. And he blends the two by saying, there is no greater commandment than these. I have a question. Why is there so much sadness in this world? Why is there so much anxiety and confusion, so much fear and worry? And why? Why is there no lasting peace? Well, we might say that it is because we're trying to be something that we're not. We're trying to live lives that are sparing in our love. We often live lives that have, well, have some place for God and some love for neighbor, along with any other number of things that are of importance to us in this life. In other words, we're not loving God with everything that is in us. We're not being the people that we were created to be. We are acting in a way that is contrary to our true nature, contrary to humanity, which is made in the image and the likeness of God, who is love. If we are not being that which we were created to be, how can we expect to feel wholeness of being or truth? deep within the recesses of our being. We are out of sync with ourselves if we do not choose to love, and not just to love, but to love with everything that is in us. It is who we are, and it is who God has made us to be. How do we do this? We do this by coming to Mary and asking her for her help that we might indeed be the person that God has created us to be, one who chooses love in the face of hate and indifference one who desires that all of humanity, not just my friends or my neighbors or those who are close to me, but one who desires that all of humanity might experience the love that is of God. If we would do this, then in this world, there would be a lessening of fear, a lessening of anxiety. There would be a diminishment of doubt and suspicion and worry. And in this world, there would be at last a chance for true peace. We are created in the image of God who is love and light and peace. We were not created in the image of hate. We were not created in the image of confusion. 
We were not created in the image of darkness and division. We were created in the image of God, who is love. Our mother will help us to see the truth of who we are and how we are to live this life as she did, loving God with everything that is in us. With Mary to lead us, we will usher in the beginning of a new world, one that is indeed in sync with God's original plan, a world that is filled with love. Mother of perpetual help, pray for us.